Hello, Dr. Draper. Um, my name is David Noser, and I am working on, um, this is the video number, are we really at number five already? Yeah, number five. All right, so, um, which um, the major, um, the primary information we're going over this week is brainstorming. Um, we already had one meeting um, this past uh, this past week um, since the beginning of this module um, with the with my team, and we're going to have another one later on this week where we're going to um, uh, I'm going to uh, I'd have have to open it up and see exactly what the agenda is, but um, I'm going over the material right now. Um, I think that uh, we'll be finalizing the brainstorming session, but um, so but I just wanted to go over. Um, as far as now that we're really heavily into the formal part of the actual class, um, as far as the actual information we're going over um, in the modules, um, I just wanted to go over um, just a little bit about what I've learned in the class so far. Um, and um, so what I did was I um, the uh, the IDEO um, uh, video with um, where it showed everyone. Um, I'm not sure what the name of the video is, but um, uh, I watched that video and then um, uh, just a few things I took away from that. And then um, also readings from um, uh, the uh, brainstorming uh, blog and um, uh, just some other things that I've uh, just just a bunch of like a hodgepodge of notes, different things that um, I've really taken away um just over the past couple of days since I've been trying to kind of put together what this class is really about, um, at least where we're at right now. And um, I guess I may as well just get to it. Um, so um, one the, the thing that was so interesting was that um, with the IDEO video where they were designing the shopping cart, um, so... Um, According to my notes, it was a, um, the project manager was a Stanford engineer. So, um, when it comes down, so I'm in, um, I may as well read off all of them first, but, um, the project manager was a Stanford engineer. And then there was also, um, a Harvard, um, masters of business administration, MBA, um, a linguist, um, a marketing expert, a psychologist, and also a biologist that apparently um, enjoyed working there so much that um, he had actually refused. Um, he re preferred to work there than go to medical school and become a doctor. Um, there was an additional video. It's about an hour long. I watched part of it, and um, I need to finish it up. But the um, in that video, they were actually talking about anthropology a lot. So... The type of individuals that make these make these teams really function it's it's not even a, a, an individual that's the whole thing it's um making a team function um is going to be that diversity and um uh the types of things that um so uh also uh, uh tom kelly um, um himself is um apparently he's um he's like the, the marketing expert so um which is interesting because in the other video that I saw, um, he uh, he seemed to be very abreast of the of the um, of the science, and um, he he had a lot of takeaways. Um, so it was very informative. It wasn't just I'm not familiar with the marketing field, but it really didn't. Um, it it really surprised me. So I think that's what this class is. Um, uh, doing the most is surprising me with the things that I'm finding out. Um, next is like um, what they targeted. They said that they targeted uh, safety was like um, was always uh, first and foremost. And then the next step um, when they're laying out their um, an idea of what they want is uh, to find the, um, experts and do field research. And um, when uh, the thing that I found interesting about that was that they went out and took pictures of kids and they were hanging off the shopping carts. So that was, um, uh, that was interesting. And that got me thinking about whether I should be going and like taking pictures at the hospital and such. But, um, 
uh, myself and my team, we have a few people that we've been um, interviewing. So I think we'll be fine as far as that is concerned. Um, and you've been providing um, other types of research, um, uh, the blog post, um, uh, the v research uh, video, uh, the video with um, uh, Dr. Kruger and other things like that that's kind of helped formulate the ideas in the students. Next thing is that it has to be done under a time constraint because um, if you don't have a time constraint, then nothing will get done. And um, the uh, because um, and in my notes, I put down that um, uh, changes that it, it appears to me that change is a messy process. So it appears that um, if you didn't, if you don't have a time constraint and you don't push yourself, push yourself to actually make the change, then it, no change will actually end up happening. Um, which is, uh, I've never really thought about it in that uh, perspective before. Um, but, uh, something I learned, um, also in, uh, one of the uh, blog posts that you posted for us to read was the five whys. And so it's just a matter of asking why five times. And usually that gets you down to, uh, the root cause of, um, that can get you at least closer to what the root cause of something is. Um, uh, if something's happening and you just, it's like, well, why, why is that happening? Almost like a, almost like you're trying to explain it to a child. Um, and then, um, some other things that, um, uh, directly, um, that I'm going to take away from this for our next meeting, I believe it's either Wednesday or Thursday with, with my teammates, um, is, uh, for some more of the brainstorming session, um, is, uh, that um, it's really important to accept differences of opinion and um, uh, a design consensus requires that everyone's ideas are formally addressed. In um, one of the videos, um, the person was saying that um, if somebody brought up an idea and then someone else came, uh, uh, like quickly came um, interjected and said something else that a lot of times the, the first idea would end up um, kind of getting pushed to the wayside or whatever it would, might not get fully addressed so that's why um, the ideas of um, everyone getting out a piece of paper and um, writing something down or drawing something is really important because then everyone's putting it on the wall and um, it has to be formally addressed so uh, the other thing is um, it appears that about five or ten minutes um if i had to guess seems to be about uh, the right amount of time or that's that's enough time for you to throw out a whole bunch of ideas so that for the idea process so if your brainstorming kind of comes up um uh if you already go through one brainstorming session and you prototype something and um there's something that's not working it's just a matter of everybody just throwing out the most ridiculous ideas possible and um, none of them could work, but one of them could um, intrigue someone else um, enough in order to actually uh, be able to come up with a good idea that um, could then lead to something else. And that's um, anyone who's ever studied like how science advances are made. Um, that's pretty much how it works. A lot of times it's accidental, but I'm going to leave you with that and um, we'll have we're going to have another meeting um, um, with Team C um, this, uh, later on in the week, and uh, we're going to finish up um, the pages and everything like that that we need to go, and um, hopefully we'll be moving on to the next stage. Thank you.